Well, there's a spacecraft launched by the Indian Space Research Organization. We talked about this uh, in the race to the moon. Russia's uh, attempt was a crash, uh, but the rocket for India launched more than a month ago. We have footage recorded by one of its cameras as it approached the lunar surface. Very cool. Uh, the landing attempt comes less than four days after, again, that uh, Russian failure. If India's attempt is successful, it would be the first ever landing on the moon's south pole. Speaking of launches, later on this week, NASA will send four commercial crew astronauts to the International Space Station as part of its seventh SpaceX crew mission. The four-person crew will stay on board the space station for about six months and includes astronauts from the European Space Agency, as well as the Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency, a cosmonaut from Russia, and mission commander Jasmine Mogbelli, a NASA astronaut making her first space flight, which is exciting, and NASA's chief flight director, Emily Nelson joins us now live from Houston. Emily, it's so good to be with you. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. Before we get to Friday morning's mission, first, just a huge congratulations to you uh, on being named flight director a few months back. I understand your position is like being the conductor of an orchestra. How major and how special has this new role been for you? <clears throat> well, I've been a flight director for about 15 years. I've now become the chief flight director. So now I get to be in mission control just a little bit less because I've got to run the rest of the flight director office. Um, it's a really phenomenal team and getting to be involved in all of NASA's human spaceflight missions is just a dream come true, as always. Yeah. And so what exactly will your role be on launch day? Are you talking to the astronauts? Where, where are you in Houston? I mean, what, what's your exact role on that day? So the SpaceX Corporation flies the astronauts for us, but we have an, a team of NASA leaders that are in launch control with the SpaceX team that are following along with the launch count so that if any issues arise in, in on launch day, we're able to um, have any discussions of risk acceptance or anything that we need to do to make sure that we're still go for them to launch our astronauts. And then we'll... Um, Day through uh, rendezvous and uh, ensure that the, the spaceship gets docked to the space station on time. Yeah, uh, well, this is going to be too cool. And uh, please correct me if things have changed or if I'm wrong here, but launch, I believe, is set for pre-dawn or early hours Friday morning. Um, what's the mission for this new crew of ISS residents and what will they be doing on board? So they'll be on the space station for about six months. They're going to get to do a wide variety of things. They're going to execute a couple of spacewalks coming up this fall to retrieve some equipment, bring it back for refurbishment. They'll change out a camera. We've got uh, some upgrades coming to one of our primary experiments on the outside of the space station, the Alpha, Magna Alpha Magnetic Spectrometer. So they're going to be testing out some tools for, for those upgrades. Inside, they're going to be doing some technology demonstrations to prepare us for going back to the moon. So we'll have um, some updates to our water system, some updates to the toilet system for the Orion spacecraft. We've also got a number of science experiments going on, uh, testing new medical devices, testing. Um, actually, one of the really exciting ones is testing how yeah. to put out fires in space because fire behaves does differently. Does that happen? It's just often? a lot of really exciting stuff. Fires in I'm space, sorry, meaning does it, fires in space, does that happen often? Is that like on this? Where? Where are fires no, happening no, we, in space? We don't ever want to have fires in space, but we want to be, fire just behaves very, very differently. And so in a very contained environment, we'll create a fire so that we can practice putting it out and make sure that we've got good techniques for that because it's just so different in space than it is in a gravity environment. Oh my gosh, it's just so cool uh, what, what y'all do, what you're able to do up there. And you know, uh, the other thing I was thinking this morning, a lot of our viewers probably going to be surprised that on Friday, that's going to mark Mission Commander Jasmine Mogbelli's first trip into space. I was watching a fun video of her this morning. She said every day she can't even believe that she is an astronaut. Uh, what else can you tell us about the only American making this trip? Um, we're super excited to get to see her fly for this first time. She's got, as you can see in the images, she's got a lot of experience flying prior to becoming an astronaut. And... Um, along with the rest of her class that are each gradually making their way to the space station. It's just going to be super exciting to see her experience space for the first time. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.